What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. I'm gonna create three separate videos, three different videos in a row that are all gonna be connected and what I'm gonna go through is how to come up with a keyword list, how to plan to create content for those keywords and then how to come up with a bunch of content ideas for those keywords and how to do all of this very quickly. So the very first video is going to be how to create an SEO keyword list that's organized, that's categorized, so you are ready to start targeting keywords once you are done creating this keyword list. Now I'm gonna be using the Google Keyword Planner which is completely free to use through your Google Ads account. So if you don't have a Google Ads account already, create a free Google Ads account, go to Tools and Settings and you're gonna see the Keyword Planner right here under Planning. So when you go there, it's gonna open up this page right here. And then the other thing I have is a Microsoft Excel sheet. Now I've already started this process a little bit but I'm gonna show you exactly what to do when you're getting started. It's very easy to do. This is just to kind of make everything go a little bit quicker for the video. So let's just say, for example, I need to find mattress keywords. A company reaches out to me, they sell all sorts of different mattresses, so they want me to find all of the different keywords they should target, but let's not target any brand keywords. We're just gonna focus on the different types of mattresses that people are searching for outside of brand keywords. So what we can do with the Google Keyword Planner to make this really easy is we can click on Discover New Keywords. Now before I get started here, I wanna go through my process a little bit of how I create SEO keyword lists and here is really a seven step process that you can use. You can use the Keyword Planner for keyword research. It's completely free. Obviously you can see search volume, you can see how competitive different keywords are. And if you start targeting the keywords in Google Ads, you can also get an idea of how much advertisers are bidding for specific keywords. What you wanna do is you wanna come up with a list of keywords and categorize those keywords that we'll be targeting. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using the filters in the Keyword Planner to find long tail keywords for each of the categories that we've come up with. So the first four steps are very, very connected. What you can do is use another tool like Keywords Everywhere for even more long tail keywords. This is optional, I'll show you exactly how to do this as well, but you don't have to use Keywords Everywhere if you don't want to. We wanna organize our keywords into a list by category, which is basically what we're gonna be doing for the first few steps. And then you just wanna remove redundant and duplicate keywords. You don't have to go crazy removing some of the different duplicate keywords, but what you wanna do is you don't want, obviously you don't wanna create the same page multiple times for different keywords. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come over here to the Keyword Planner, and I'm gonna enter one keyword in here, and it's just gonna be mattress. So I'm just gonna enter mattress in here. So I'm selling mattresses, so I wanna find every single long tail keyword related to mattresses, and we're gonna click get results. So entering that one keyword, they gave us over 1,300 different keyword ideas, and you can see the search volume for mattresses is obviously very high. Always people in the market for mattresses. It is a very competitive niche to be in, a very competitive keyword, but let's just say, for example, a large mattress company contacts me and says, we wanna make sure we're targeting every single mattress keyword possible, and we wanna make sure we have our website as categorized as we possibly can. So what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna be adding some filters. So I wanna make sure that the keyword text for every single keyword that I'm targeting contains mattress. I'm not just gonna be looking for keywords that aren't relevant to mattresses. So if you scroll down here, you'll start to see some different keywords that maybe, so sleep number bed, for example. I don't wanna target a keyword like sleep number bed. I wanna target keywords like twin mattress, like king mattress, like full size mattress. Those are the types of keywords I wanna target. So I wanna make sure I add a filter where the keyword text contains mattress and we'll click on apply okay so now out of the keywords we had we have 909 out of the 1300 keywords so let's add another filter and let's just say i want average monthly searches to be at least 100. so we don't want to target keywords at this time that are 10 monthly searches or 50 monthly searches let's make sure that the google keyword planner has these keywords with at least 100 average monthly searches so we could see now we have 861 out of about 1300 different keyword ideas the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna refine keywords. So over here, you're gonna see brand. So the first thing we wanna do is get rid of all of these different brand keywords. I'm not targeting any brand keywords for this example, so I'm gonna remove these different brand keywords. Now let's scroll down. Next is gonna be retailer. I don't wanna compete with Mattress Firm or any of these other retailers. So let's get rid of retailer here as well. Now we'll keep scrolling down, see if there's anything else we need to get rid of. So other brands, let's get rid of these as well and that should be everything so down here at the bottom you're going to see size you're going to see different types of mattresses and then just other things that people are searching now sometimes under the others you can get some different ideas for keywords to exclude like different years obviously we don't want to target 2021 and 2020 keywords 
So let's just start with a list of some different keywords that I want to exclude. So let's add a filter here. Let's say keyword text does not contain, and we'll do things like sale. We'll do things like affordable, cheap. Okay, I put the years here, and we can do things like stores, uh, maybe store. We'll do near me, and we'll click on apply. There's probably going to be some keywords that I don't want to target in here. So as we scroll down, you can find more negative keyword ideas. For right now, this should be okay. So we could always go back and remove any of the different keywords that we want to target. For example, price. I don't want people that are price shopping. I want to make sure people are looking basically for a twin size mattress or a mattress for bunk beds or something like that. So we'll click on apply here. Now what you're trying to do is come up with what are the most popular keywords that people are typing in. So we'll start with average monthly searches. And what I like to do is take some of these different keywords, obviously not mattress, but take some of these different short tail keywords like twin mattress, queen mattress, full mattress. Let's just say for this example, I'm targeting air mattresses, memory foam here. So mattress top, that may be a keyword that we target, but what you wanna do is you wanna take a bunch of these keywords and start categorizing them. And when we come over here and we look, you can see I've started creating some of these different categories. Obviously people are gonna shop by the different sizes. You can see we have air mattresses here, memory foam, futon, hybrid mattress, pillow top mattresses, best mattresses. Keep scrolling over and you're gonna see even more ideas down here. So day bed mattresses, water bed mattresses, adjustable, bamboo, folding, camping, in a box, all these different keywords. Now, all you need to do in the next step is come back over to the keyword planner. We've created our categories. So the categories is something you're gonna have to do manually. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to say, okay, how can I put some of these different mattresses into a bucket so they're all relevant keywords in that bucket? That's ultimately what you're trying to do. So when you see something like memory foam mattress has 110,000 monthly searches, there's probably people searching for different types of memory foam mattresses, different sizes of memory foam mattresses. As we scroll down here, you may see something like mattress size. To me, that's a keyword that we can target, but it may be a keyword that we end up targeting with content rather than with products. So we'll go through that a little bit later, but what you're trying to do down here is say futon, crib, foam, so maybe you wanna do something like back pain mattress, but right here under best, this will categorize all of these different best mattresses that people are searching for, and these are all gonna be different content pages on our website. So what we can do is start with some of these different categories that we have. You could see I have hybrid there, you could do floor mattresses potentially, uh, mattresses in a box, foundations. So. I've come up with all of these different categories here. You can always add more categories as you continue to do your keyword research. But for right now, this is a really good start that we have. So all we need to do is we need to just, just come over here to the keyword planner, come back over to our filters. We have some of these keyword text does not contain, and then some of these keyword text contains. What we're gonna do is say twin mattress. So we're gonna try, try to find all of the keywords that contain twin mattress, click on apply. So now you can see this gives us all of these different twin mattress keywords. A lot of them have a lot of average monthly searches here. You can see bid ranges for all of these different keywords. Gave us a total of 28 different long tail keywords related to twin mattresses. Now what you can do is export this data here into CSV, into Google Sheets. There's a really easy way to copy and paste these keywords using Excel. So if you just come over here and copy all of this here, so copy it, we're gonna open up a new Excel sheet click on keywords, paste all of that data down here, and we could just say we're gonna paste it as plain text. And then all you need to do is we have keywords at the top here, we're gonna to go to sort and filter, we're gonna click on filter, that's gonna make this a drop down. and now we're gonna do text filters, contains, and all we're gonna do here is mattress. Click on okay, and now you can see this gives us all of our keywords right here in column B. So you take all of these keywords, we copy them, we come back over to our mattress spreadsheet, and we paste all of our twin mattress keywords. Now you're gonna rinse and repeat this process for every single category here. This is a good way to find long tail keywords no matter what niche you're targeting. So if we come back over, you're gonna do the same exact thing again. Rather than keyword text contains twin mattress, you're gonna do full. So you're just trying to pull out some of these different categories for 
these different buckets that you've created of different keywords and you're trying to put create subcategories for ultimately we want to rank for the keyword mattress we want to rank for the keyword full mattress if we do keyword text contains full mattress click on apply it's going to give us let's see 28 more keywords related to full mattresses so we can rinse and repeat the same exact process copy them just come right over here to this sheet you could delete your last ones so we just come over here and delete them we would paste our new keywords here and do the same exact thing it actually should automatically remove them because the text filter that we have is contains mattress so as long as you have keywords that have mattress in them or whatever your main keyword that you're targeting is it will remove all of that other data like search volume and some of the different things it gets when you do copy and paste directly from the keyword planner there's a trick i've been using forever now the other thing we can do is use keywords everywhere and just search twin mattress and you can see some of the different keywords here so if we do twin mattress and i have keywords everywhere installed you can click here to find long tail keywords for twin mattress and that will give you basically every single twin mattress long tail keyword there's some trending keywords you can copy and paste these if they're relevant for your brand but what i like to do is just come right here into these long tail keywords and you can copy these right here and do the same thing and just paste come back over to our mattress keyword spreadsheet and paste these right at the bottom here. We'll just paste the values, get rid of the links. And then what you can do is just come right here and click on remove duplicates. So go to data through Microsoft Excel. And then right here is remove duplicates. So we don't have to expand the selection. We can continue with the current selection, remove duplicates in column A. And it says 16 duplicate values found and removed. 53 unique remain. There's probably some that are duplicate type keywords and the obviously we have things like Costco, Ikea that we don't want to target here and some different brands as well at the bottom. So that's the one thing depending on what you're targeting. This may not be the best thing for you to do, but ultimately what you're trying to do is just find more keywords to target. So this is one way to come up with even more long tail keywords for all of your subcategories. Ultimately, what you want to try to come up with is a long keyword research list that looks something like this one. So I will go through what these mean in the next video where I go over keyword planning. But right now we have our SEO keyword list. If we come over here going through our process, we use the keyword planner for keyword research. We categorize the keywords we'd be targeting. That's probably the hardest step is coming up with different categories. So you may have to do a few different searches depending on the niche that you're actually targeting. But ultimately what you can also do if you're really struggling with categorization, look at other competitor websites and look at how they've categorized their keywords. Go to a mattress website that sells all sorts of mattresses. Go to mattressfirm.com and you can see how they've categorized a lot of the different types of mattresses that they're selling. And you'll see, obviously, it's by different sizes, different styles of mattress. Sometimes it's different pricing. So you want to categorize those keywords. Use the filters in Keyword Planner and refine keywords. I should have put that here as well, but use filters, refine keywords if you do want to get rid of some of those different brands like I did. Get rid of some of the different stores and retailers. Find the long tail keywords for each category because ultimately what we're trying to do is say, okay, we want to target some of these different keywords here and we want to make sure we have product pages for somebody's looking for a twin memory foam mattress. We want to return them all the products we have for sale that are twin size mattresses made out of memory foam. So it's a really simple process and this keyword is a lot easier to rank for than this keyword. Ranking for the keyword mattress is almost nearly impossible if you're a brand new business. Ranking for twin mattress is going to be really difficult. But if you have a page on your website that lists all sorts of different kids twin mattresses for sale, and then you have a blog post of here's the 10 best kids twin mattresses for under $250 or something along those lines, you're going to be able to rank higher in Google and drive more sales back to your website. Ultimately, it comes down to finding the right long tail keywords. And then next is planning the best possible content around those keywords. Finishing up this video, you can also use keywords everywhere for even more keywords. Organize your keywords into a list by different categories. So that's what we tried to do in this step here where we have twin mattresses, we have our full mattresses, queen mattresses, king mattresses. I think you get the drift at this point. There weren't many California king keywords. So that's something we may have to research a little further. Air mattresses. Now, one thing you might have a question about is, okay, under air mattresses and under twin, we have the same keyword here. Ultimately, what you're going to do is use the same exact product page on your website. So when someone's shopping for air mattresses, you say, here's all our twin sized air mattresses. 
when someone's shopping for twin mattresses, you say, here are all our twin-sized air mattresses. So no matter what people are so shopping for, you're going to reserve them the same exact page. So don't worry too much about duplicate keywords in that sense. What you're trying to do is get rid of duplicate keywords. For example, twin mattress, twin bed mattress, to me, are the same exact keyword. So this is where I would say, let's delete this keyword here. You're going to see a lot of different keywords that are pretty similar. Sometimes it's just a flipping of the words that they're using. Sometimes it's one simple word that goes into the actual keyword itself. Like, for example, I own a farmhouse decor website. If somebody's searching for farmhouse decor and farmhouse style decor, it's the same exact keyword to me. I'm not going to target both keywords separately. I'm going to target them on the same exact page. So. Hopefully that all makes sense. This is how to easily build an effective keyword list. Just simply using, well, you could use keywords everywhere, but really just using the keyword planner, entering your seed keywords here at the top, and then just breaking them down into different categories. And you can easily copy and paste it and use that trick I showed you. And then you just want to organize all of your keywords. And your next step is going to be, what is going to be our plan for this keyword? So. Our next video will be what is keyword planning, so stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions about building an effective SEO keyword list pretty quickly, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.